Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Factorio and Laugh Corp. Welcome back to our beautiful factory. As you can see, I have been very busy this time. Uh, for about an hour or so, perhaps two hours, I have been cleaning up what we already had and improving it greatly with mu with many more um, with many more. Iron per second being produced. There we go. I salvaged that sentence, kind of in a way. Grammar is not important. Uh, we've yes, much more iron being produced. Multiple tracks. Multiple tracks being split off. Me doing proper resource management. Red science being made in the hundreds, and very soon green science following. And look, look, isn't that awesome? Transport belts and. Um, Inserters all being mass produced here. So I'll just very quickly go over what exactly is happening so people don't get too lost, and then we'll continue to make our lovely green science, which is the goal of today. So, where to begin? So, this is the very start of the green track. These are very simple. These are simply using iron. There we go, if I press Alt. They're using iron to produce um, cog wheels, the so gear wheels, the gear wheels are going on with the iron then to produce the tracks themselves, that's the easy part. Then the more difficult section is this, so once again, iron produces gear wheels. The spare iron gets funneled along to the section over here, which we'll get into in a second. Over here we have copper being turned into copper wiring. The copper and, um, let's see, yep, the copper wiring and the iron, which is being also funneled from the original funnel, is then being turned into microchips, also known as a also known as electronic circuits, which I should be calling them. The electronic circuits are then being passed on. So, what happens is, the spare iron, once again, is being passed along to this path here. So, next, <laughs> the spare iron, which is kind of bunged up for some reason. Oh yeah, I got this wrong. I was going to fix this, this is one, th this is one section which is currently incorrect, and it shouldn't be like this, I'll be fixing that today now, because that was just an oversight on my part, honestly. But, um, essentially, Hmm, how am I actually gonna? F actually, how am I gonna fix that? That's weird. I guess. Like, oh, well, oh, I know. I know how I can fix this. I know how I can fix this. Okay. Oh, ignore the noise. That's me rendering. So the iron, the gears, and the electronic circuits all come together finally using these inserters to produce the inserters themselves, which are then passed along using these long-handed inserters to the final track, which is what. Which is, which is finally going to be very soon attached to a mechanism to make the glorious science packs, which needs one inserter and one track. Oof. And by the way, this is only the second level of, um, of science. It's only going to get harder from here. So what I want, then, is this track to be on a bend here, because then... Ah, I'm not sure. Let's see, where will that put, that'll put the science there? Ah. Nope, that doesn't work. I was hoping perhaps that would put it on the right side, but it didn't. Okay, so what if, what if, what if? Yeah, just since it is in such a bad place here, that's the, that's the issue. Okay, I think... It'll have to be up here in place on that side. Okay, 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 I've got it, 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 I've got it. So we do it up here like this. Now the inserters always place it on the furthest away. So if I were to put this here, that should only try to place the iron now on this side, which is the correct side, and thus the issue is solved. Yep, there we go, it can't place it right now, let's just uh, check if that's doing what... Yep, it is, it's only put it on the correct side. Fantastic. And even when it had space on the other side, it simply didn't place it. And now we can go back to putting these back where they were, and the machines can continue to make the inserters. Fantastic! Also, this means I now have an infinite supply of um, of transport belts. Wow. Wow, we have a lot of copper plates. We need to make some chests, like, now. Or place some chests, I should say. Since we have some space in it. Now, I, I have, I've purposely left some space around here, because I'm not sure how fast we need this science to be produced, so we can have some space later on to put some stuff in. So, for now, then, let's sort out the science. That's what we're doing together. Now, I will also mention, at the moment, we're having a bit of an energy crisis. Well, a big energy crisis. We are nowhere near supplying the amount of energy we need for this factory. That's why everything looks a bit slow, because, well, it is. <laughs> They're simply not being powered fast enough. That's actually fine. I don't mind this, because... I'm going to leave it like this until we get to solar energy. Now, thankfully, solar energy only needs science pack level 2s, which means very soon 
we can simply go into that, which is fantastic. I want to make sure that we don't ag aggro any bases which should spawn further away, because I'm I'm on good knowledge, or at least what I've read, that the more enemies you kill, the stronger they become. So I don't want to rush into having to kill things just yet. Okay, so let's do this then. So we want inserters, we want the inserters, uh, ooh. If we get long inserters, we can actually, ooh, that'll be more spicy. Okay, I've just figured out a way to be a bit spice efficient here, that's all. And it kind of made me happy, because I realised it all by myself, I didn't have to rework everything again. So if we put this track facing this way here, like so, then we have a long inserters like this. So one here, there we go. Now, now we only need the regular crafting machines for this, which is nice. Like so, and then we use the small inserters, which are going to grab the transport belts and the pre-made inserters. It's always weird that inserters can grab inserters with such ease. So like this. Okay, and then power this up. In the least neat, neat way possible, of course. Can we perhaps remove this one? There we go. How's that? Oh, look at that. Consumption versus production. My lord, we are consuming almost double what we are producing. Well done us. Okay, so we want you to start making us some green science. Same with you. Same with you. Same with you. Now, let's just watch while it does its work. These should take some... Now, these should be quite a long-winded process. Wee! I must admit how many times I've gone through the entire track system just just skimming it. There we go. That's what I wanted to say. It's been put on the right line. That's fantastic. Now, currently, I must admit I'm not too sure where we're going to put our labs. Now, and I'm almost certain that our labs eventually will be moved out of this little factory area. Because this is, well, it's still not permanent. So I think we, should, we could just put all the labs for now here, along here. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to need some more labs and some more underground tracking. So it's some underground tracking and then we need some more labs. I'd recommend at least three or four. Again, once we have, have better power, th th that'll make sense at the moment. Honestly, doesn't really make much of a difference. Aha! Thank you for that person, by the way, who said to just hold down the button when you're placing, um, when you're placing cable, because that will just put it as far as possible. But honestly, I just want complete coverage here. So the entire section down here is completely covered, so if I need to do anything here, it's all, you know, pre-done. Okay, good, we have the tracks, so here comes the green science. Uh, obviously, you're going to want them both on separate sides of the same thing, so we'll figure that out as we go. Bring you down. Bring you nice and down. Hopefully it's on the... Ah, damn, it's on the wrong side. Why is it always on the wrong side? Now, we could have something which looks very cool, I must admit. We could have uh, the long inserters grabbing the red and then the, the regular grabbing the green. Actually, that wouldn't be too bad. Okay, yeah, that, that's, that's what we're going to do. Just leaving them both on separate tracks. There are multiple ways you can fix this, but honestly, that sounds cooler to me, so... Meh. A bit, a bit less power efficient, but there we are. So this crossover section here is where the things are to grab from. So we want the labs, which I should have just made. There we go. Then we have the inserters. Okay, so let's put them down. So I'm in the way, which doesn't help. Lab one. Lab two. Lab three. And that's what we can fit because of our terrible placement of the cables. Let's move you. Put you here. By the way, so interesting. I have not enjoyed Factorio this much before. They have done subtle changes, even to the early game, which has made this whole experience so much better, in my opinion. It just seems more streamlined, which is kind of the whole point of the game, so... Very nice, very nice indeed. One red for you, one red for you. I'm saying red because the um, long inserters are painted red, so... Simple bit of concept there. There we go. And then let's power this thing up. Aha! Then go here in between the pieces. Fantastic. And I'll remove you because I don't need you just yet. And let's see what science we want. So, um, we're going to be rushing for solar energy. So the last thing we need is advanced electronics. So research that for us. There we go. Those are the, are the, are the only ones currently working because the greens. But the greens will eventually um, stack up. And they'll be grabbed as they go past. Fan-freaking-tastic. 
really suffering though fr from from electricity deficit, but that's just gonna be how it is until we get to solar panels. So, well, that's working away. Then we can start work on defenses now. Like I mentioned before, I do want a perimeter kind of fence using the turrets and using an automated um, uh, re-ammoing system. Re-ammoing? Wow, reloading system. There we go. Re-ammoing. So and so it's <laughs> the truest term. Now, for that, we're going to need a lot of bricks, and I mean a freaking lot of bricks. So what I'm going to do now is I set up that now. So have that there, and then we're going to want another mining station. Or we could split some ore off here. I mean, I, I was talking about that before, um, s s uh, splitting the, the ore off because how much we're getting. So we could do that and therefore save ourselves a lot of energy and hassle. Because I'm going to want an, an automating, an automated um, smeltery here, just for the stone we're getting. Uh, now, do you want to split it off here or split it off over here? Does it really matter too much? Not really. So I'll split it off over here instead. There we go. Then half the coal will go along this route. Or route, depending on how you want to say it. There we go. Okay, so now we need to figure out where everything's going to go. So let's grab this. Oh boy, that was a lot of stone in inventory. Do not quite want that much stone, honestly. Have the tracks coming out. And obviously the stone will want to be... The tracks will want to mix with the stone. Sorry, the coal will want to be mixed with the stone. Ah, uh, here's a problem. Oh wait, no, no. I was going to say, because once that gets filled up, I thought it will get all... All, um, clung up, but actually it won't be fine. So that's going on the right. This one's natural. Oh good, that was, that was uh, a natural on the left. Fantastic. It's actually going, going the right way for once. No silly changes needed. Also, that is annoying me, the fact it's one higher. It wouldn't actually matter with, with um, what I'm about to do, but it just seems wrong to me. No. Yes. There we go. Mix these two together. And then... Like this, and down they go. There we go. As always, that's just the simplest way of doing it. At least, well, so no, see, simplest and easiest are certainly two different things on Factorio. This is the easiest option. The simplest tends to be the more difficult option, because the simplest is when it all looks neat and nice. Like my factory over there, look, I'm, I'm so proud of that. I, I, I've never had a, fa a factory that just looks so good. There we go, fantastic. Uh, now, and now we just need to grab them out. Like so. Once again, that, 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 that can actually be done a lot easier than what I'm doing right now, but again, I don't really need, to, well, I do need a lot of stone, but it's not of a massively high priority. It's like, it's going to be what I work on while I'm waiting for things to be um, finished and such. Right there. Don't need two. Grab from there and put that there. Okay. Power cable, power cable, power cable. And it works. There we go. So now we're getting some lovely stone. We currently don't. We currently don't have actually enough stone to um, constantly power all four of them. But I do have a lot of stone in my inventory, so that's fine. Hmm. Perhaps we need a fast inserter. Particularly this thing draining power so quick. Uh, energy consumption is 44 versus 13. Which means, honestly, just leave as it is. That's fine. That speed's fine. So, the reason why we're doing that is because we need these here. Stone walls and gun turrets. Now, gun turrets obviously don't need the stone, but the stone walls need a lot of them. Five per one. Five per one. And I want to cover this entire facility. Because I want it to be a really elaborate kind of... Um, Re-ammoing station. <laughs> I love that now. Re-ammoing is a thing, so and so it's re-ammoing is indeed a thing. Now it could Ah! Brilliant. Okay, could we do solar panels then yet? Or am I still a bit off solar panels? Oh brilliant, 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 brilliant. Solar energy is now being researched, so and so it's that is what we're doing. So while that gets researched, let's continue with con with armoring up our things. So this is a gun turret. Gun turrets do exactly what you think. You put ammo in them, they fire at targets automatically. 
thus providing a nice layer of automatic defense, which is very, very nice indeed. Uh, back in a second, I'm being called. And we are back. Sorry for the disruption. I know I am very sorry indeed, because it was just one of those lovely phone calls. Have you had an injury at work in the last few years? Do you want to get PPI back? Ugh, glorious. Wow, that's actually struggling. Hmm. Are these all at five? Uh, yeah, it means not struggling to keep up with this, but... That's interesting. I thought... Oh, because of a lack of power. Our minds are going slower, of course. We cannot wait any longer to get this um, power sorted. But I, I just thought it'd be better to sort out our... Um, our infrastructure first, and then worry about powering it up later. And, and honestly, I kind of still stand by that. So let's keep let's keep making uh, yeah magazines. So essentially, these regular magazines are what's going to be mass produced to keep our guns loaded. So early on, before we have drones and such, it's going to be a very elaborate um, connection with loads and loads of connect loads and loads of um, transport belts, which does kind of suck, I admit. But there we are. Let's make all the stone walls we can. There we go. So let's see then. Let's do a bit of design practice on this little segment here. So how big is the turret? Okay. So let's say we want the turret here. How are we going to do how are we going how are we going to do the wall around the turret? I like this. That's not too bad, it actually looks quite nice. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, and then we need an insert to put in stuff there. And then the track will come across like... The track holding the ammo will come across like this. Okay. That's not too bad looking at all, actually. I'd like it to be a bit... F I'd, I'd, I would love if that inserter could be in there, but that would mean this would have to come out by two. Which I don't really want to do. That's quite a... Thing and there's a certain um, issue of it looking phallic. <laughs> I mean, I'll be honest. So if I wanted it like this, then so have the inserter here, then have the sorry, no, 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 laugh like try again. You just put the inserter back where it was. So the inserter here, so that so the track can go here instead. Then want the gun one off like this. Then um, actually, that's not too bad. Bit of dead space here and here, which I can't really put another turret in because I quick send the insert would have to be able to 360, which it can't. Um, I'm not sure which I prefer honestly because this. This version, although it's going to use up more stone, and it looks a bit not quite as nice in my opinion, does have the added benefit of allowing this silly old track to be right next to the wall, which means we don't have to allocate too much space for it. The problem is, though, like I say, it's a lot of stone we have to place, and then a lot of repair work, because there's a lot of corners for it, so I think I think we are going to go with the original incarnation, the simpler version. I'm not as defensive, and there is issues with it, but... It's going to be easier to maintain for me, and that's the big thing, really. So, we have the gun there. With this just coming around like this. It's simple, it's nice, and honestly, I think it looks better from the outside, so... It looks better from the outside, because, you know, we do care about how the aliens feel about us. So, how much do you want to put them between? So, four each, and then go again? I think, I th I think that's a reasonable distance. I'm not quite sure of the range of these things, so this is kind of just guesswork at this stage. Where is my stone? I want my stone. Thank you. Oh uh oh. Wow, the coal isn't. Wow, ran out of coal. Did not see that coming. Here you go. I'll I'll just manually put you in for now. There you go, plenty of it. Yeah, that was not running. Oh, do so I really want to add another steam power, another um, steam engine? Because we could. All, all, all we need to do is um, add add one more boiler. I really don't want to though, because I, I want to keep our pollution as low as possible for now. 
Ugh, even though no enemies have spawned in yet, they will do if their base will spawn in basically where, you, where you're not. So they, so it is going to happen, it's just a matter of time. I wanted to delay that time as much as possible so that... Because we've got quite um, ambitious, honestly, before going defensive. So I've kind of screwed myself over if we were to... This is three, this one's four. If we were to allow myself to do that. So I, I just need that solar energy to finish. That's really exactly it. As soon as the solar energy is done, then we're fine. As then we can start um, powering everything up in the day at full power, full swing. Now I need some more metal plates. I'm hoping they're not... No, yeah, we've got excess metal still. Fantastic. Thankfully, when the power goes down and our um, eng our miner stops, so does everything which, 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 re which requires the ore for the miner, so that's fine. Not fast enough at all. We could add, add a couple of regular burners here instead and just manually extract stone for a while. Not sure just yet. Okay, how much wool do I have? Am I blind? I should have just made a load of wool. Did I just use all the wool? Okay, I might not be seeing it. Maybe I'm... I don't even know anymore. Sorry again for the little cut there. Weirdly enough, fraps just randomly stopped. So, yeah, everything's going very slow right now, and I can't really do much while I'm waiting. Uh, I am very tempted to increase the power, but imagine if I attack me now. This would be so devastating. But everything's so oh, fine, fine. Let's do it. So one more steam engine, one more boiler. Honestly, two boilers wouldn't hurt, but I'm, I want just one. So this is going to have to, be, have, have to be moved first. Well, at least at least we have a huge excess of copper at any given time. There we are. And that attaches back to there. Then I'm going to have to remove all of these, which means all the power's about to turn off. Just for now. And then one, two, three. But this one isn't attached to the to, to system, but now it is. There we go. And finally, the last touch, adding, adding an inserter here so that all the boilers are on. There we go. I'm powering you. Oh, really? Did I miss? There we go. Ooh. How hot, how hot's the water? 100, 100. Okay, yep, yep, it's all boiling at max. We, we still don't have enough power, even with the additional um, source there. Yep, we simply haven't got enough power. However, we are now making coal fast and everything else is sped up by a little bit, so... That has sped up everything that will include our labs. But, like I was saying, that's going to start making some more lovely, lovely pollution, which is not what I really, really wanted. Sad face. And I know, perhaps I am being a bit too careful, because I know until they've spawned in that we're out, not really at much danger. But I'm just playing it as safe as possible. The last thing I want is to lose everything. One, two, three, four, five, you. One, two, three, four, five, you. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, you. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Well, well, well now isn't this riveting watching, Sir and Threats? One, two, three, four, five, you is now a thing as well. Look, look, look oh my lord, there's a little bit of iron here. Oh, could we perhaps mine the iron here for this little section, have its own little um, ammo supply, independent from the main ammo supply? We actually could, because we don't need that much iron. So that little bit there is probably enough to... well do, and, and there's even a coal supply coming in, which we can tap from. Hmm, I'm tempted. I am tempted. Two, three, four, five... Eight. Wait, was it five? <laughs> I'm so good at this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. You, yay! That's the last one. Okay, there we go. So that section all nicely sorted out. Then obviously now what we're going to need is um a lot of stone walls. So let's start work on the automated 
production of ammo. We're going to need some furnaces as well. It's going to be like a little forgery. Actually, we could use this as a... Per mm. Thing is, see, this is going to get stacked up quite quickly, so even though I've only got a small amount here, it's going to be backed up rather very, very, very quickly on, so it's not really too much of an issue. Then I want some coal. Now, do I tap from this, or do I get a new one? I think I'm going to tap from this, because, again, I don't really want to use too much energy, and the speed of these things isn't really too much. There we go, and then we're going to want a load more of these, so we're going to need more iron. Grab the iron uh, from this track here, because this track seems to be under less pressure at the moment. I think I might have grabbed, yep, I just grabbed some of the science by mistake, whoops. That doesn't seem to matter right now, with the speed that's being studied. We're currently halfway to solar, to, to solar energy, which is fantastic. As soon as that's done, we're going to be... Everything's going to just fall into place so much easier. I mean, after that, though, what we really need, then, is these things here. The electric accumulator, so we'll have to do batteries next, which will need sulfur processing. Now, I don't know how sulfur processing actually works. That is that is actually new to me, so we are now going into the realm of I don't actually know what the hell's going on. Even more so than usual, I mean. I, I don't really know, know what's going on, even on things we'll actually understand, so... Tracks, why are you so difficult to make? I kind of want it all the way over here just because I'm going to start the track going this way so I can probably fit all, all the machinery actually on the coal section here. And we'll only need um, two smelters anyway, so it's not going to be a huge, um, a huge endeavour. There we go. Then I'm going to want the smelters, which I just made. The furnaces, I should, I should say, here and here. Which will then put the finished metal on here. Which will then go into a a assembling machine here which will finally finish off the entire task by making ammo clips which will go here and then will be fed along to all of the um, guns. The guns thankfully don't actually need power, they, that, that, they just need ammo, I'm not sure how that really works but I'm not going to question it because it's in my best interest that they don't require power. So let's get the iron production going first. There we are, iron's up and running. So now we need this stuff up and running as well. You there, and of course you there, fantastic. So then the end result will be you making me some glorious regular magazines, which I think is what they need. Here's hoping they actually need the the only ammo I, I can actually produce. It would be very nice if that was the case. And I need some more iron. Preferably not the iron we're just smelting here. Or I could go ahead and just grab the tracks we've been making the whole damn, damn time. It's actually not. That is actually very, very tempting. Yay, tracks! Thank you, automated machines. The problem is then now I've just turned on machines which were actually completely um, backed up, and now they're all turned on. The energy is being used there. Oops. I have to slow that. It's, look there! Yay! So all we need to do is power these things. So next time they actually grab the darn thing. There we go. And I'm actually missing an inserter. Yay! First one's actually armed. Now, I'm not sure how many it'll take before it will allow them to pass. Is it five? No, it's not five. 
I'm hoping it's not a ridiculous amount, otherwise that'll take a very long time to actually arm this line. And now we really need more stone walls. Oh, on a side note, I actually bothered to actually check the controls, and that's how I know about the whole alt thing for the pollution and um, right-clicking to, to, to make more than one item, which is rather nice. I think it's five you make at once here. Okay, so just waiting on that then. Oh, solar energy is almost done. Finally, finally, finally. It'd be so nice if that could be ended before we actually finish the episode. I might just um, skip ahead, actually. Yeah, because all I'm going to be doing now is building stone here, so back in a second once the solar energy is complete. Okay, there we go. We now have solar energy. Let's have a quick look-see in what we need to actually create these things. Solar energy, uh, solar panels require steel plates. Now, steel, we are yet to make. Now, I do know how to make steel. Steel is made by essentially smelting iron. Or re-smelting iron, I should say. So if I put some iron plates in here, that should make steel. Okay. How many do I need per one? I need five per one, then some electric circuits, which is fine, just need some more iron. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to manually make them for now, but that does mean we are going to need some steel production. So, I'll set up that now. I would like to make at least one solar panel, just to see how good they are though. So, let's quickly hijack this machinery and use it for a bit of um, steel production. Um, any reason why you're not making steel? Okay, that's weird. Okay, so why is only the last one actually... Is it because of the coal? Oh, it's more than one. Oh, it's five! Oh my lord, it's five iron for one steel! Well, that I did not know. It's a good job I found out now. Okay, so we're going to do some serious upgrading on our mining gun. Okay, I was going to say, perhaps I could just do it on camera, very quickly upgrading it on the next episode, but no, that's going to be off camera, definitely. That's going to take forever. I'm going to 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 Wow, stammering graphics, that's fantastic, go me. I'm going to have to essentially double the amount. Well, for, well, for people who say they never notice my speech impediment, there we go. <laughs> oh, well, when I was younger, that's how I used to speak all the darn time. Now, that was a nightmare, trust me. When I was a wee boy. Obviously we don't want to let the, the, the um, steel get past here because then it'll go into the system and just clog everything up. Since it can't be used by anything. There we go, good enough. Stop your production now after your last one and I'll start making this in my inventory. That is a lot of copper. Now I don't... Do I, do I, do I need to mass produce solar panels? So maximum uh, actually, why not just look at that? I, I could look at numbers. So maximum power output is 60 kilowatts. How much is the steam boilers? Their maximum. Oh my lord, they're only about ten a tenth as powerful. But honestly, they're not too expensive to make other than the steel. So it's not like we're going to go broke by doing this. Give me that coal. And we definitely need it. So, we are going to need to make a steel solution. Ooh, aren't they pretty? There you go. Yay! It's been placed in there now, so that, so, so that solar panel's now feeding into the system. It's not going to be enough to solve all our, our woes, but certainly it's going to be enough to at least help out. Wow, look at the difference, my lord! The, the steam is producing 1.5 megawatts, the single solar panel is only producing 60 kilowatts. That's nothing, that's absolutely nothing. But of course you only have one of them. And that doesn't produce pollution, and neither does anything else we're making. So, so other than the, um, the furnaces, eventually you can go into electric furnaces, I just don't know how far it is to actually get them. Oh, there we go. Electric furnace requires advanced material processing which can make a steel furnace which is cool but I'm just going to save up for the that then so that, I guess that's what we want to do next then we want to go towards electric furnaces now we have solar panels so sort out the solar panels next time 
then we'll go to electric furnaces and replace all the furnaces, and then we'll continue on from there. Okay, well, so interesting. I am loving this so far. I'm so glad many of you are enjoying it. If you have enjoyed this episode and are enjoying the series, then of course, likes, favourites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that you want to see more Factorio on the channel. And that's the important thing I need to know from you guys. Please tell me. So thank you for watching, and goodbye.